Okay, let's see. Uh, the instructions say point A should be at 4.5 to 5.5. Uh, let's see. Volts. In. So it should be here's the ground and here's the point A that is five point eighty five. Say it should be five point five. This is I suppose okay, it's good enough for me to try out the but like to try out the effect, but let me see if I can find some better uh, MOSFET. I have a few there, so I'll give it a try and see if uh, different ones might work uh, better, closer to the to the recommended range. Let's see now, five eighty-eight. I mean, it is. Well, five nine. Five eight. I wonder what this other. To end seven thousand would give me four ninety six. So oh, this one falls into the range. Okay, let's get back to the original one and. Let me plug in the guitar and let's give it a try. Let's see how this works. So, here's bypass sound. Let's engage. So, minimum. Not a huge difference, let me see. Definitely hear the difference now, it's louder. Definitely louder. Let's hear this now. Now, definitely increase in loudness so just a tiny change and perceivable difference and then now you can hear 
huge difference. Okay, all the way up. So, all the way up to here, uh, half, uh, dial it half. Very little difference. There's an increase here. You said this is one o'clock, is it? Up, slightly, slightly louder. Here, two o'clock. You can see already picking up three o'clock kish. Four. Noticeably louder. Oh, really loud. A five. No, that was four. That's sure. Is this five? And it's really loud uh, uh, at maximum. So. Huge difference. Okay, let me try two and seven thousand. It's actually not working at all. Despite the range being, uh, despite the, the voltage being within the range, it just these MOSFETs are so different one to uh, between them. Uh, so I think now is the time to take out the trim pot and try to uh, adjust this to N7000 to actually make it working. Let's see. Okay, while I'm trying to make it work out successfully, I must say, in the background, let's see what went wrong. After I failed to make it work, I went back to the data sheets. Uh, the, the parts in there look pretty much the same. All parameters pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, well, where do I go from there? Well, Google, of course, and uh, after a bit of searching, look what I found. Okay. Different pin out that, no way. Uh, sure enough, it is. I, I just assumed they'd be dropping replacements. Oh, less to learn there, right? Read the bloody data sheet. But I read it, you say, yeah? Then pay attention to what you read. So it, it helps to turn the transistor around uh, correctly, so with the correct pinout. Let's check the reference values, voltages. Five eighteen. Well, this should be well within within the specs. So, let's see how it sounds. Yeah, that's much better, right?
Like I said, there won't be any. Not much difference between uh, all the way up to 50%. So let's see a bit further. Yeah, uh, it's slightly uh, louder now. So let's increase this. Yeah, it's louder now. Quite a big, big difference. Now, uh, it, it pretty much works the same way as uh, BS 170, and uh, the specs are pretty much the same uh, according to the data sheet. Anyway, um, of course, it helps if you get the pinout right. Um, but uh, as uh, shown at, at Spice simulation uh, and Kind of approves it in practice that uh, going all the way from uh, all the way left, uh, all the way uh, counterclockwise uh, to about 12 o'clock, there isn't much of a difference. The you know, it is slightly louder, it's just barely not noticeable and if once you're past 50% you can notice the difference um, and then it rises sharply at the last 10% you know like it's uh, last uh, 10% just rockets uh, up in loudness so say for example from 3 o'clock